Okay, I'm Scott Brown, Greenwind and other home energies. <coughs> a rasp going across, the grain runs this way, rasp this way. You can see this kind of rocks across here. It's got a high spot here. You can use a rasp because it's straight and flat on one side. You sit there and get this the way you want it. Feeling where it's setting by rocking it can tell you where you're fixing it. There you go. Works kind of fast. Well, one more thing I didn't get to tell you. This over here, I'm going to lay the coffee can on her and it should give me the rest of my curve like I got on the other side. And when you get over here, you take the grinder and burn this edge. That seals it and helps keep it from getting old there real fast. Okay. That didn't take long. Come back and finish it, burn it a little bit. done with that part and work on the next one. I'm going to opt to show you how to do this this angle here. Okay. I already did one from here to here. Just testing out see what's more time efficient for you. I'm making a cut from this line to this line. This is the basis of the curve. I've got this set up on the drag so that I can fine cut. This helps keep your axle from uh, rocking. Go over or under a little bit really doesn't matter all that much. And as a matter of fact, Sometimes you can just twist that blade and that piece will fall out for you. I don't like using the sawzall on this because it's too fast and won't give you much accuracy. Take it out and look at it once in a while. As you can see this really doesn't take all that much time. up in the corner. Some little cuts between your old ones that don't go down as far. Make this go kind of quick. going to do this all the way down your blade. All four sides. Or both sides of each blade itself. It's a four bladed prop. That's why I say all four instead of both. You're only seeing the video for completion of one and then we'll put them together. That way I get to work off camera and speed up. There we go. The next just knock these little sections right on out of here. To be honest with you, that's the way I've done done my first props. I do I use a little less orthodox style on the ones I do for myself. I take a skill saw. Which 
that method kind of takes a little more skill. I guess that's why they call it skill saw. There we go. Grinder, take the rest of that. <coughs> I'm gonna draw a line. This is this is where one edge is. This is the other edge of this cut. I'm gonna draw about one third into it, add one third into it, and I'm gonna bevel from this edge where my thumbnail is up to that one third line. And that other one that other one third line I'm gonna take over to here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that for you so you know what I'm talking about. About one third. And the other third. That takes from here, this little section in here where my thumb is, and this section from between my thumbnails right here. And it puts a nice little curve right in here, and the peak of it will be right here. Then I'm going to sharpen the back of this down, and I'm going to do the same thing all the way down. I'll show you this really doesn't take any kerfing. Grinder slow, but it's not that slow. When you're working on a little piece of the wood like this, About a 45 degree angle here. Just come slow. Flatten it off. And each time you do a step of what I showed you, you need to do it on each blade. And then balance it for each step. That way you know everything is going great. I'm going to pull this out and show you. And, uh, I've already sharpened the back side of this. There's your curve, and it's curved slightly right here and here. And that's what she'll look like. You'll fine tune it with a flat file or something. When I get done over here, I'll take this lump out here. But basically, that's it. And I've already sharpened the back of this. I'm going to show you right here. This is sharp, and this ain't. This is the side I sharpen on because this is the curved side. This side I leave alone. This is where I first did everything. And there's your Venturi curve at the root of your hub. I thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown.